on Main Street in the mornings, when I get there at like six in the morning, it's really nice and quiet and the only thing you can really hear is when the tracks are coming by. There's not a lot of people. It's nice and cool in the shop and the lights are still half off. It's really nice. What I like about being in a coffee shop is the interaction with people. You realize you are getting to know people. Eventually that person is starting to feel comfortable. In this shop, it's almost like feeling comfortable in like a home. Howard Schultz coined the term the third place. It's this place that's a stable part of people's lives that's like in between home and work. It's familiar, it's comfortable, it's friendly. And I think that the, the coffee shop really embodies that. There's a strong cultural value in, inside the coffee industry of just openness. And, and so I think, uh, I think Salt Lake really exemplifies that. I think the people of Salt Lake really do like to be warm and welcoming and open to, to a lot of different people. Experiencing something new is kind of the most magical thing that can happen to coffee. But with coffee, you might have kind of your style dialed to a certain extent, and you think, okay, I know how to pull a good shot of espresso. And then you go somewhere else, and you see them making all the things you would never do, and you taste it, and it's incredible. And it turns out there's just a lot of good ways to make coffee. To me, it's really a question of what does it taste like? That is all that's important, and so often we try to think of the rules to coffee, to what makes it good, but I think, frankly, we don't know the rules yet. There's no one thing that makes an amazing cup of coffee. It's, it's the whole life of that seed, down to the preparation that makes it good, and, and it requires somebody who really cares on the production end, too. I consider the roasting my art, but all these other people have to touch it to make a completed product. So I rely on the farmer to make a really good product. I then rely on the importer to treat it properly when they bring it here. And then I have to do my piece with it. But then I also have to hand it off to a barista and trust that they have the knowledge and expertise to finish the art. It's a collaboration in an artistic sense that's really cool. One of my favorite things is to look out into the cafe and see all of these different people you'd never see in the same room together. I have seen businesses blossom, I've seen romances blossom, I've seen businesses crash, I've seen romances crash. I'm sure babies have resulted from conversations that have happened here. <laughs> This is about people who live here trying to just create the things they love. I mean, we set out to embrace what we love about Salt Lake and, and bring new things here rather than, you know, try and copy what's going on anywhere else. People come in every day and are surprised that we even have coffee. And not only do we have coffee, we have really good coffee. You have a place that is like a blank canvas there's no preconceived notions about what it's supposed to be or how you're supposed to do it. And to me, that's much more powerful for creating something new. We start to talk about things like coffee scenes and coffee culture. I like to think of it as coffee community. It's just a great thing where you can express yourself and not be wrong, probably no matter what you do. 